kindergarten. I'm really excited about science this week. Guess what we're going to learn about? We're going to learn about the praying mantis. All about the praying mantis. I'm very, very excited. Okay. First, we're going to look at some pictures, and we're even going to look at a real praying mantis exact. But first, let's just learn a little bit about insects. This says, what is an insect? An insect has six legs and three body parts. So all insects have six legs and three body parts. One, two, three, four, five, six legs. The head, thorax, and abdomen. Like, all insects can look really different, but if it's an insect, it's going to have six legs and three body parts. Butterflies are insects. They have six legs and three body parts. Mosquitoes, beetles, ants, those are all different types of insects. Um, now, spiders have eight legs. So spiders, well, I always think they're an insect, but spiders are not an insect because they have too, too many legs. Okay, they're, so they're an arachnid. All right. Let's look at some praying mantis pictures. So, I think praying mantis are just such cool insects. This is an adult praying mantis. So, let's see. It has one, it has one leg in the back there. We can't really see too well. Two, three, four, five, six legs. And then one, two, three body parts. Okay, so there's the adult praying mantis is an insect. All right, so the adult female praying mantis lays an egg sac. So it's not just one egg. There are hundreds of little praying mantis eggs in there. And she lays it in one big egg sac. So I say big, but it's usually just about that big. Okay, so it's pretty small, but it's filled with praying mantis. There can be anywhere from 50 to hundreds of baby praying mantis in one egg sac. So cool. Normally she'll she'll put the egg sac um, on so, like a stick or a leaf or a twig or somewhere safe, kind of hidden. Then when it's ready, the egg sac will hatch and all the tiny baby praying mantis come out at the same time. Whoa. And they are so super, so super tiny when they first come out. And they all come out at the same time. Sometimes they kind of come out greenish, brownish, a little bit clear, yellowish. Just kind of depends on the praying mantis. And they grow pretty quickly. They eat and eat and eat and eat. Remember how little baby caterpillars, their only job is to just eat and eat and eat and eat as much as they can. And then they molt and they shed their skin and they get bigger and bigger. And then when they're ready, they shed their skin one last time and it's a chrysalis. Well... Praying mantis are a little bit different. They do molt and they do grow quickly and they do eat and eat and eat and eat, but they don't have a chrysalis or a cocoon or anything like that. So here is a baby praying mantis that's gotten a little bit bigger. So maybe it's molted one or two times since it was born. And they molt by hanging upside down, so kind of like a caterpillar and they come out of their old skin. So look, there's the old skin of the praying mantis, the baby praying mantis, and it hung upside down, and it crawled out of its old skin that was too tight for it because it was growing, and it comes out of its old skin, and it's bigger, and that's how they grow. That's how they molt. They shed their skin. And then when they do that enough times, then... They're a full-grown adult praying mantis. So praying mantis are carnivores, which means they eat only things that are alive. They are insectivores, which means they eat insects, mostly insects. There are so many different types of praying mantis, and some types of praying mantis get huge, and they can even eat like little birds or little tiny mice or little snakes and things like that. Whoa. But most of them just eat insects. And this, and they eat a lot. They're amazing hunters. This is an adult praying mantis that caught a cricket. And they have, the praying mantis have spikes on these front legs here. They have spikes right here. And they, ah, they catch their prey like that. They spike them. So 
and spikes, and that's how they hold on to their prey while they eat them. It's pretty neat. Okay, so we would have seen this in the classroom. We would have had this in Science Center, but I'll show it to you now. Here is an adult praying mantis. So the adult praying mantis lays an egg sac. So there's anywhere from 50 to hundreds of praying mantis in there. And when it first, when she first lays it, it's kind of white colored, kind of lighter colored, but then eventually it dries and it's more this color. So these are just made out of plastic or rubber. And then after a couple weeks, it hatches and the tiny praying mantis come out of the egg sac. And a baby praying mantis is called a nymph. It's called a nymph. And so they hop around and they try to catch as many little insects as they can. Little flies, mosquitoes, gnats, any little insects like that. And then they shed a couple times and then they're an adult praying mantis. So that's their life cycle. Okay, let's read a little book about them. So it says, feeding time. Let me see if I can get a little closer so you can see. While some insects are busy eating plants, others are just as busy eating one another. Some insects have biting and chewing mouth parts. This praying mantis pounces on its prey, the cricket. So the cricket is the prey, the praying mantis is the predator. The praying mantis pounces on its prey and grips it tightly and chews it up. Oh my gosh, this praying mantis has a cricket leg in its mouth. Whoa. It says spines on the praying mantis's front legs help it grasp and hold on to its prey. A praying mantis can sit for hours very still, just waiting for a, waiting for a bug that it can eat to come by. Wow, pretty cool. Let's see if I can get closer. You can see that praying mantis has a cricket in its mouth, a cricket leg. Okay. All right, I ordered some praying mantis egg sacs online. I ordered them online and uh, the mail carrier dropped them off at my house. And so I wanna show them to you. I have three of them and I've been taking really good care of them. I don't really have to do anything to them. And they come in this little cup with a neat lid with a mesh on there. So that the praying mantis egg sac can have some air in there. And there's three of them in here show you inside the cup there they are so this is one of the praying mantis egg sacs so it, it's very light it's not heavy at all and it feels kind of like styrofoam maybe and this one's a little bit bigger can kind of see the twig there that the praying mantis laid the egg sac on. So when the praying mantis babies are done growing inside and when they're ready to hatch, they'll come out of the egg sac. There's a little leaf on that one or something. And hopefully I can get some video of it and I'll post the video and show you um, the praying mantis babies hatching out of the egg sac. Okay. So I posted for today the instructions on how to make this praying mantis face mask so you can make one of those, kind of just for fun, because we're learning about praying mantis this week. And I'd like you to make this praying mantis book, this praying mantis life cycle book, just to help you remember the life cycle of a praying mantis. So you can print out all these papers, cut out on the black line, write your name at the bottom, and cut out on the black line, and then you can staple them together or glue them together. Okay, let's read it together. It says, praying mantis life cycle. It's a picture of a praying mantis nymph, praying mantis egg sac. And then the second page, where you can cut out on the black line, it's oh, page number one. It says, a female praying mantis lays eggs in a soft egg sac. This is the egg stage. So remember, it's soft at first. It's kind of light colored. It hasn't hardened up yet. The egg sac hardens into a case called an otheca. Otheca, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. This is the otheca stage. Nymphs hatch from the otheca or the egg sac. This is the nymph stage. So the nymphs are just baby praying mantis. 
And then they eat and eat and eat tons of little other insects. And then they shed, and that's how they grow. The nymphs mature into adolescent mantises. This is the adolescent stage. An adolescent kind of means like they're not a baby anymore. They're not a baby nymph, but they're also not a grown-up. They're in between. An adolescent grows and matures into an adult praying mantis. This is the adult stage. So remember, all insects, including the praying mantis, have six legs. One, two, three. It's going to be in the back. Four, five. One, two, three, four. There we go. Five, six. And they have three body parts. One, two, three. And they'll carry those spines on those legs. That's how it catches and holds them to its prey. Then the last page is just a nice picture of the praying mantis life cycle for you. The adult praying mantis lays an egg, an egg sac, and it hardens and dries, just like that. The nymphs, the baby praying mantis, hatch out, and then they grow and grow and grow. They're an adult praying mantis, and there's the life cycle. Okay, I am excited to keep doing praying mantis stuff with you this week in science.